Hey guys, this is a review for the XQ6 HD drone by Hero RC. Here is the box, if I can get it in the frame here. This. And as you can see, my drone is black, not white like the one picture on the box. But let me tell you, this is a pretty sweet package. First of all, as you can see, everything that comes in it. You get the blades that come on the drone, and then you also get two extra sets of blades, two full sets of blades, which is fantastic. And not one, not two, but three batteries, which is a great deal. With the power cable, you get a little tiny screwdriver, because the drone does come disassembled. And you do have to assemble the landing gear with a little mini screw, as well as the propeller guards, which personally I like, and I'll talk about that in a minute. You've got your controller, got four AA batteries, and you've got your instruction manual, and then of course, oh, right here you've got your HD camera, and then the drone. So let me zoom in and we'll talk more about the drone and the controller, and what I think about it. And I almost forgot the micro SD card reader and the four gig micro SD card that goes in the camera. So here's the drone itself very light. It's made of very light plastic and it's actually surprisingly light when you pick it up. I expected it to weigh more. So here on the bottom is our slot for the battery. The battery just goes right there, connects to this wire here. Underneath, I do really like that it has a power button so you have on off. It's not just, doesn't just turn on as soon as you plug the battery in like other drones. You have your connector right here for the camera, and then your little slide here where the camera just slides in. I'll show you that. You can hear it click in, and then this plugs in just like that. And there you have it with the camera installed. You've got your lights under here that show which way is the front. Your red lights are the front, as well as your green propellers. And you can see the motors here are pretty well protected with this plastic covering. Propeller guards attached and that pretty much is what this drone looks like and everything that it has. Now as far as flying, this drone flies like a typical drone. I'll show you the controller here. So here's our controller and you've got your throttle here so up and down and it does stay where you release it, but I've never found that these types of drones that that really actually works well as far as a, a real hover. I'm constantly keeping my finger here to keep it hovering where I want it to. And you have your yaw, left, right and left. You've got your forward and backward, and your turn left and right. You've also got other buttons here. Some of these control your trim, your camera, your tricks, and you can do flips. I actually took this out to the park with my DJI Phantom, had my buddy fly this drone while I flew the Phantom to film it, and you'll see that here in just a minute. It was actually quite fun. But as far as how this thing flies, overall it flies pretty well. It's easy to control. Indoors, obviously, it's easier to control because it is so light. Outside, with the slightest bit of wind, it does seem to get pushed around a little bit. So, a clear day without with a very little breeze, you'd be alright flying this. The range was about a hundred feet almost exactly. We took it up and I took the drone and followed it up and at about a hundred feet it lost connection, hundred feet up, a hundred feet out. So pretty much a hundred feet from the remote this drone lost connection. So that's about your your flying range. The battery life was around nine minutes so not too bad especially since you have three of them. Three separate batteries and they're pretty quick to charge so you can really have a lot of fun with this drone. It's a great package for a starter for a kid that wants to learn how to fly a drone, um, or just to go tinker around with the park. I thought it was a, a great drone. Worked well, we crashed it a few times, and as you can see there's no, there's not even a scratch on it. It really rebounds quite well. Granted we were at a park over grass, so I wouldn't recommend crashing an asphalt or anything, but overall I like this drone. Worked well. If you have any comments or any questions, feel free to comment below. If this was helpful, click like or yes, and if you would like to see more reviews like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.